Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we're watching Rick and Morty season 4 episode 3 which yeah um last time we had the old man at the seat where um Rick was defending his um private toilet and he cared for a person enough to go out of his way to like do stuff for them I mean in a mocking way but still he did stuff that's that's basically the thing. He he didn't just ignore him or put him somewhere where he would never see him again. He actually, like, worked on stuff to actively mock him. And that's a difference. Um, yeah, and then we had the whole love soulmate app stuff, which was defeated by ad walls. But I can relate to that. If an app has way too many ads, then bye bye. Especially if you can't do anything anymore. Like, what's the point? <laughs> this time, this episode is called One Crew Over the Cuckoo's Morty. So I guess it's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Um, I, I mean, that's the thing that kind of might be referenced because it seems way too similar to not be that one. Um, so this is the last thing I do for this uh, recording session. So uh, the next two episodes, uh, like four and five, are going to be next time. And then I'm going to do six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to do nine and ten. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope this episode will be enjoyable. I don't know if it is or if it will be, but I mean, we're gonna hope and see uh, what this episode has in store for us. Then let's just jump in. Well then, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you want to see more. And in the description, you have a link to the Patreon where you can get episodes early or the uncut versions where you can sync your own copy up because it has only a timer and the first minute running so you can sync it up. Um, and yeah, the other link is to the Discord, which you can join to chat a little bit, to, to write, to, to basically tell other people stuff you think about. I don't know, just just use it, kind of. <laughs> um, I'm there too, so if you have any questions, you can, I mean, you, you, you can put them in the comments, but you can also like ask me stuff on Discord if you want to. So, let's just go with the episode in three, two, one, and go. Activate anti-booby suit. That is practical. So booby traps don't hurt them. Then let's loot this corpse. So they're gonna go grave robbing. Hey, where's the, wait, what? Is that an origami horse? It's a calling card from Miles Knightley, a heist artist, AKA a hipster dick whose adventures are 60% putting a crew together and 40% revealing that the robbery already happened and he's not worth our time because he's a hack piece of shit. F I'm gonna kill him. Okay, so someone was already there. Also, who rigs a term to crush the buried person? Isn't the point to protect- uh This is, yeah, why? Exactly. You're bringing up a good point, dead and more dead lady. <laughs> why, why would it crush? Yeah, why would it crash down? That's an interesting question. Now we're gonna have to rewrite all the whole, like, Tomb Raider stuff. <laughs> Heist plot. This dork, he has a... Convention now stealing stuff is about the stuff not the stealing. Where is the entrance? Oh brother. I Mean I think they More do like it because of the ceiling Or we could sneak in like professionals Can't wait. Oh, for God's sake. 
Yeah, yeah that didn't work out the way it... So, so they are prepared. I mean, they know how heists work, so of course. And how do we get in? With a little help from some old friends. So he's putting together a crew. He's gonna try to infiltrate Heist Con. Nobody's hiring an ex-con with fake hands to build an ion engine. Hmm. Suppose I had a job nice. that didn't care if you've done time or whatever. Robot going arms. Out with your confusing ass hands. I'm in. Is this the guy? No. This is really is like nope. nice movie. Typical yeah, stuff. No. No. Wait. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course that's the guy. Hey. Hey. Truckula. You son of a bitch. I mean. Truckula. Wow. So, so that's their crew. That was it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna be happy about that. Lab coat, rip off Doctor Strange. <laughs> Rick Sanchez, rip off Doctor Strange. Everyone. Wow. Smartest okay. Man in the universe. He can do that the too. Savage critic of the heisting arts. Of course he can. Your mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. I challenge you to heist the crystal skull of Horowitz. In a heist. A crystal off. skull. <laughs> Really, a crystal skull. That was it. Bye. So. Looks like you're available for a job. Um. Well, that's a thing that happened. Yeah, Rick, you shouldn't just get together a crew and then abandon them. Seems like a good team. Welcome to Nightly's Nine. It's not gonna be. Yes, oh, it's not gonna be the skull. Yeah, you got that skull, buddy? Robot parts. Okay. Heist to Tron. State your prime directive. Two heist. Calculate Miles Knightley's current heist plan and add one double cross with a switcheroo. Compiling crew One double cross with a switcheroo. Wow, that cross. is. God damn it, Morty! What did I tell you? He was bitten by an alien uh, spider. I want to say goodbye. Man, this is really coming together. You know, Rick, I've been busy working on writing a, a heist, heist script. Yeah, you almost never bring yeah. it up. Oh, it wasn't even a heist. All you did was write an algorithm based on two he heist movies. He basically infiltrated your heist process. You call art? Yeah, I really did, <laughs> didn't I? So I'm in your crew now. Yeah, well, you're in good company, right, everybody? Yes. My God. He has literally just. Infected everyone. It's like a virus spreading. Steal every square inch of heist con. Yeah, okay, that's um he's basically destroying this whole th th this man's whole career. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh f holy sh Alright, look Morty, I did not know that, that was gonna him. happen. That's not on me. Come on, Morty, let's go. I mean, he wanted them to steal every part of it, and I guess he was a part of it. I am programmed to double cross. You're not programmed to double cross me. I guess. I'm in! I I'm out! I quit! <laughs> Whose kidneys nope. are these? Um. Rick, what's happening? I just has gone rogue. Yeah. He was programmed to double cross, so I guess he should have planned that. With a little help from some old friends. Um. New Ooh. crew. Ooh -wee. This yeah. semester's over, you're gonna be real sick of that phrase. <laughs> well, <laughs> he <laughs> just killed people. Okay, so now they're gonna go get him. And who is that? So that is Hephaestus. Excuse me, are you Ventriloquiver? Rick Sanchez, I presume. Wow, as advertised. Uh Not bad. <laughs> Did something happen to Elon Musk in your own reality? No, 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 he's fine, but this is a team of yeah, um, and regular Elon can be a little bit controlling. We are just here to check your water pressure. Uh, yeah, if you... How? Some giant hidden camera has been dropped on the planet. Giant hidden camera. Mm. It's so well hidden. Yeah, you're just gonna kill a lot of people. This is not a heist. This is genocide. Usually heists should go unnoticed. And 
whatever we plan will be canceled out by Heistatron's reveal that our plan was part of its plan. That's why I picked this group yeah. at random and why all of us will So be you're going to have to double cross the double crosses. Randotron. If our collective behavior is just random enough, we should be able to walk through Heistatron's lazily contrived bullshit like it's not even there. So they're just going to be So basically they're just doing random stuff to be better than an algorithm. It's already been here. Um, We've been watching a recorded sky on playback. Hello, Rick. This is Wow, he he actually heisted a lot of planets. Well, that's not really working. This is just going to be chaos. Yeah, now she's just running around in circles. He's Cooking. Fun stuff. That's not how it works. Is this gonna do anything though? Like, if the planet is all, if the planet is already like done. When you invented me and Randotron, you swapped our brains. That's right, buddy. You're not um, the one that's very good at planning. You've been making this shit up the whole time. Rick, I think there's something you should know. Uh, okay, so... Switch a room? I should have predicted, which I did. Hey, Rick, I was thinking maybe we could, like, raid a temple and go on an epic adventure later today. So, another switch room? It matters because it explodes when it hits six levels of contrivance. Which is exactly why even be... <laughs> And it exploded. Clap. Clap. Yeah, he planned for this. Clap. Slow clap. That what you thought was a random non plan to get to me has been a meticulously choreographed way of bringing you all in. This is just confusing as heck. Because I programmed you to believe that. 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 This is not working out. He's learning. I programmed you to believe that. I programmed you to believe that. Two hours later. That was my plan the whole time. That's what I wanted you to think. I knew you'd say that. I programmed you to believe that. You think that's true because I wanted you to think that. And I programmed you to believe that. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh no. Um, Shit. All right, let's get the f yeah, okay, so... Rick, I think this was a powerful lesson in the dangers of AI. Which, by the way, means love in Chinese. Get the f*** out of here, Elon! Uh, let's just... yeah. Let's just go. Netflix is pretty interested, and I've actually got a pitch meeting there today at 3.30! Oh, buddy. Oh, that's amazing! Okay. Are you sure? Priorities, Morty. Let's get you to Priorities. that Netflix meeting. A Netflix movie is... Crazy day, huh? Whole sky turned out to be more a important than Earth. Board. Yeah, and then this big awesome twist where there's like another double cross, but then um, but, yeah. but then we reveal there's this other crew they put together. And yeah, and it's basically sort of not have a plan, but just an extreme version of every heist movie ever. I'm starting to think heists are just really dumb now. You know, I can't put my finger on why, but I'd really like to go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, I I'm sure. Weirder Man. stuff, really. It's like someone stole his enthusiasm for his own idea. Yeah, without him even knowing about without it. Without him even knowing about it. Yeah, hmm. Of course Rick did that. I'm not gonna fing lose him. F that. I'm, I'm gonna nip this shit in the mm, butt. No, so that was all. If anything in the butt. If wow. Morty ever gives up on a single dream, Fun times. It better be because of his own disillusionment. So Morty, everything was go. planned from the start. Yoo-hoo. I'll just hang out with you and go on adventures and do whatever you want to do. You know, and that's exactly oh, well, what well. he wants to do. Like, what Rick wants to do. Ooh wee. That's exactly the kind of connection I'd have loved to explore in my class. Uh, yeah. Too bad I lost my job for putting my students in the hospital. Yeah. Yes. Um, you yeah. kind of, Sorry. um... They're kind of hurt. So yeah, that was uh, that episode. Uh, a lot of heist stuff uh, and... I thought that uh, some of my characters in my novel were difficult to understand and um, 
sometimes a little bit confusing about who planned what and stuff, but ah, that was another... That, that was on another level. This was just confusion everywhere. And Rick planned it to be really, really confusing and really, really exhausting. The problem I have with this is, if that was Rick's plan all along, he killed a lot of people. Like, the, the whole heisting of other planets didn't go that, like, it, it, it wasn't really harmless. It was more like, yeah, we're gonna kill, like, thousands and millions of people and harvest, like, your core of the planet or whatever. That's... He's going to such lengths to keep Morty. And I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. Like, that's... that's a lot. So those are like the two thoughts I have. First of all, everything's freaking confusing. Second of all, Rick, isn't that a bit too much going too far? But I guess in his eyes it's not. Because it worked and he's, he's happy about that. At least Rick only exists in this show and not in real life because I would fear for my life every second of the day if he was here. But yeah, I think we all need a break right now because that is, that was hecking confusing. Uh, I tried to understand some of the stuff, but I mean, Obviously, it has been made in a way that it should be confusing and, yeah, just getting Morty to be sick of heists. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say to that. It's just, I think I need a drink. <laughs> And like a coffee or something, just to get my brain working again after this. Jumpstart my brain. Um, but yeah, I guess on this note, have a nice day, and I see you in the next video. Bye!